Hello and welcome to this application note video demonstrating the importance of correct UHPLC instrument setup for protein aggregate analysis by size exclusion chromatography. Monoclonal antibodies are known to form aggregates in the course of product expression during fermentation, during downstream purification, in storage or through mishandling of the product prior to patient administration. Aggregation is considered a critical quality attribute as aggregates may result in decreased therapeutic efficiency and potential adverse immune reactions in patients. Size exclusion columns with internal diameters of 7.8 mm and operating at flow rates of 1 mL per minute are standardly used for aggregate analysis. However, the introduction of low dispersion UHPLC has enabled the use of lower flow rates and higher resolution stationary phases. A common misconception is that smaller internal diameter SEC columns are difficult to pack, resulting in reduced column performance. However, reduced performance with smaller ID columns is more likely attributed to the use of incorrect tubing or the absence of a low dispersion flow path required to maintain peak integrity when using size exclusion chromatography at low flow rates. In this application, a low dispersion biocompatible thermoscientific Vanquish Flex quaternary UHPLC system and thermoscientific MAPPAC SEC1 column was used to evaluate the effects of pre-dispersion, sample volume and solvent addition on size exclusion chromatography. It was observed that SEC is prone to effects of pre-column dispersion when column internal diameter was reduced to 4 mm and flow rate to 300 microliters per minute. However, the use of small 75 micrometer internal diameter transfer tubing and no sample volumes of 1 microliter on a low dispersion UHPLC system eliminated peak dispersion, resulting in excellent chromatography. Furthermore, the effect of solvent addition in the mobile phase was evaluated and found not to improve peak shape, confirming the absence of secondary hydrophobic interactions with the MABPAC SEC1 column. If you want to know more about the application of a universal chromatography method for aggregate analysis of monoclonal antibodies and download the application note, please visit thermofisher.com forward slash protein aggregates. Thank you for watching this video.